A Hillsborough County mom is working to raise awareness about childhood cancer as her son navigates his second bout with the disease. ABC Action News report, reporter Rochelle Aline shares that mom's message for the community. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia. According to St. Jude's Cancer Research, it's the most common type of childhood cancer. Just want to show Maddox. And for nine-year-old Maddox and his mom Candace, it's a diagnosis they've had to hear not once, but twice. He's so just upset and sad and he hates his life. And I'm really scared that he's going to give up. He was first diagnosed in 2019 when he was six. His mom said it started with persistent back pain and a fall at school. He's been so strong and so brave throughout everything. Just always letting the doctors and the nurses just... Um, do what they need to do. After more than two years of chemo and other treatments, in August he was listed as in remission. But then the pain came back, which led to a life-changing doctor's visit. He says, I think that his disease is back. And I had to leave the room. According to St. Jude's, this only happens in about 15% of ALL cases. And this time, Maddox's cancer requires a more specific treatment. He is going to need a bone marrow transplant in a couple of months once they get him back into remission. Candace says she wants to share his story and relapse journey so more people will learn about ALL. Long term, she hopes to see more funding being used to research the disease. But in the short term, she says says everyday people can help young cancer patients by signing up to be bone marrow donors and more. Spread awareness and you know when you see that one blood bus, take the 30 to 60 minutes to go donate a pint of blood if you can. And as they fight to get Maddox back into remission, she leaves this message for parents in the same boat. Just be there for your child. Make sure that your other kids are involved because it affects them too. And just try to keep your chin up and just pray. In Tampa, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News. Maddox's mom also has a Facebook page where you can track his progress and send cards and donations. You can head there to our website at abcactionnews.com and see for that, look for that link.